Labor is going to have a comprehensive plan in relation to energy policy in the state. Our focus is not to privatisation, not to privatise our essential assets. We think prices will just go up further and further and further once you put it into the hands of a private company. And at the end of the day, consumers, I think, in New South Wales are sick of privatising government assets because they can see what happens to their bills. They just keep going up under privatisation. festivals, is this something you want to see in New South Wales? Well, we've decided that we need to have a drug summit after the New South Wales election to bring the experts together to make policy decisions in New South Wales that are, have all the stakeholders around the table, and that's the policy we're taking to the election on the 25th of March. And do you have support from the government stepping in to save the Roxy Theatre in Parramatta? What we want to see, I mean, they've been promising in relation to cultural institutions in Western Sydney like the Roxy Theatre now for a long time. We've never seen, uh, I guess, the money allocated to this important piece of cultural heritage in Western Sydney, and I'd like to see more detail. But I'd just be sceptical. If you're a voter in Parramatta or Western Sydney, you've heard all this before. The government's going to step in, make decisive changes. We never actually see the change happen, and then weeks before an election takes place, all of a sudden the problem's solved. Many voters will be entitled to be sceptical about the latest promise to save the Roxy Theatre.